What a performance that was from Manchester United. Uh, yeah, it, my days, it isn't this dark, I promise you. But yeah, I've still got my lamp, electrician. Hopefully it'll come on December the 3rd when uh, you know the lockdown officially ends. But anyhow, enough of that crap, nobody cares, right? So, two set pieces for Southampton in the first half put us in a really procur precarious position. Uh, Ward-Prowse with a brilliant delivery from a corner for... Um, fuck. <laughs> oh, it begins with R, doesn't it? They're centre-back to score. My bad. Um, to be honest, I don't really care. I'm more bothered about the United goals. But uh, yeah, and then uh, Fred gives away a sloppy challenge um, and War Prowse it's a brilliant free kick of course it is uh, De Gea gets a hand to it actually gets injured from it so Henderson got his first Premier League game today but yeah at half time I tweeted out um, that I fully expected us to win this one even 2-0 down because we created so many chances early on about five minutes in we could have got the early lead Greenwood took it around the keeper but just took it a bit too wide I think it was Bruno who played him through there we had another chance where their goalkeeper uh, passed it out straight to Greenwood and uh, y you can tell things are affecting Greenwood at the minute you know he just needs to be eased back in uh, allow him to play his actual natural game because last season that would have been a goal straight away but he struck it straight at the keeper it comes back out and uh, Bruno can't uh, finish it from three yards out it's a wonderful double save from uh, McCarthy and it's absolutely absurd how many goalkeepers tend to have the best game of their career against United uh, but yeah in the second half we managed to create a lot more chances. Uh, Edison, Edison Cavani was brought on for Mason Greenwood. And let me tell you something. I was sceptical of signing Cavani because Sanchez, Falcao, Di Maria, these you know top, top names that have just flopped. And thankfully, early days of course, but thankfully it looks as though he's going to be more like an Ibrahimovic signing for us. So yeah, fair play. He completely changed the game alongside Bruno Fernandes today. And uh, yeah, I'm so thankful he did. But we created some chances, but the first goal finally, after another chance from Rashford, where, which probably would have been choked off for offside anyway, where the goalkeeper makes another good save. Um, Cavani gets the ball on the right-hand side, uh, plays a cross in, Bruno takes a touch and manages to slot it into the goal. Uh, so I think that's five cons uh, consecutive away games where Bruno scored. It's ridiculous, man. This man's a midfielder. He scored the most uh, goals, non-penalty goals, for a midfielder this season at four. Uh, only Grealish has also matched that uh, for Aston Villa, of course. But yeah, so you know we, we managed to get um, back into it. And then we created some other chances. Uh, there was a through ball from Rashford uh, for Fred that was just offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted either. But yeah, Cavani finally gets his goal. It's a corner. Uh, I think it's whipped in by Tears at this point. And um, comes out to Bruno. It's not a great shot, but it's deflected. And Cavani manages to diving head it straight in to make it 2 2. Brilliant, brilliant, instinctive striker finish there. Honestly, I like the fact that we've got different qualities up front. Uh, Martial was apparently ill, which is why he wasn't in the lineup today or on the bench. Uh, of course, Dean Henderson came on uh, at half time because De Gea picked up a knee injury, I think, uh, colliding with the post when Ward Prowse scored. Um, but yeah, late, later on we were pushing, we were creating chances. There was a couple of uh, balls played through that were just ahead of the, the player. Uh, Donny van der Beek got his first Premier League start today and I thought he played really well. One thing I will say though, um, maybe van der Beek is being a little bit too um, much of a team player. Like There was a couple of opportunities where you thought maybe he could pull the trigger but instead he tried to play a clever pass and it just went a little bit wayward. I don't know, um, you know, maybe that's something uh, Ollie's told him to do or whatever, or maybe that's just him as a person. But yeah, sometimes it might be better for him to take the shot rather than pass. But again, I thought he was pretty decent today. He won the ball back well, he played well. Uh, other than Fred's mistake, I thought he was pretty decent in this game. To be honest, no one had a horrendous game. Uh, the defense was pretty good. It was just defending from set pieces. Other than that, Southampton had like a deflected shot that hit the post, but not much else. In the first half, we had another chance where Bruno hit it from about 30 yards and it uh, was another good save from McCarthy uh, onto the post. But yeah, we finally get the winner in stoppage time and it's that man, Edison Cavani, again with a header. Oh, oh this guy, yes, this guy, he is going to be so fired up for PSG. PSG, watch the fuck out and hopefully that doesn't come to bite me but uh yeah watch the fuck out this man is coming for revenge i tell you something who um 
we could have had another one as well. Obviously, at that point, it was in stoppage time, so there was like two minutes left. So how that uh, Southampton piled everyone forward, and we had a chance. Uh, ooh, what was it? Was it Rashford who shot or Rashford who played the ball in? Regardless, uh, it was either deflected or a goalkeeper. At this point, I was just delighted because yeah, we we managed to to turn it around. It's also the first game that I've managed to watch live. Uh, I've got Sky Sports and BT Sports now. Um, so no more three minutes behind for a stream uh, well until COVID ends and then you know games that aren't televised I'll have to find other means of watching but eh, anyhow yes finally we've backed up a good performance with a ground out result which was another good performance it was just sloppy errors from set pieces um, and to be fair a little bit of quality well a lot of quality from the person taking the set pieces so sometimes it's impossible to actually defend said set pieces but yeah much better in the second half Ollie did well uh, taking off Greenwood and putting on Cavani um, I, I like the fact that he backed Greenwood as well uh, you know starting him Greenwood will come out all guns blazing don't worry about that you know he's only 19 Ollie knows what he's doing with uh, young players and yeah Greenwood will, will come back stronger than ever uh, I'm 100% sure of that that lad's got so much quality but for the time being I'm delighted that we've got Cavani and it's going to be really hard for other players to dislodge him from this starting XI. He's going to be a, a focal point in this attack, you feel, and it's either going to be, you know, a, a front, three, front three when everyone's fit of Martial, Rashford and Cavani, or if we do play this system, either Rashford or Martial will uh, miss out. And judging from this season, you'd probably say Martial because Rashford has eight goals. But anyhow, it's just nice having depth. We don't have to be competitive. That's not me saying I prefer Rashford over Martial. That's me saying we've got a competitive uh, squad, which is exactly what you need. You need quality uh, outside the uh, first 11, and that's what we've got now. So, yeah, anyway, on to PSG. If we even draw against that, we're qualified in the Champions League. And, yeah, that would just be uh, terrific to cap off uh, a pretty good week. But, yeah, I'm going to have a look at the table, actually, before I, I leave off. We were 13th. But the table's so bloody close that it's insane. But now with that win, we're, we're definitely in the top 10. But let's have a quick look before I end this off. Premier League table. We are currently 7th with a game in hand. Love saying that. But yeah, now I can enjoy Lampard versus uh, Mourinho. Spurs versus Chelsea. Second versus third. Uh, personally, I think Spurs uh, will lose that one. I think Lampard will get uh, another victory against Mourinho. But let's see. In terms of us, a draw would probably be the best result in that, looking at that. Um, but yeah, still a game in hand, so yeah, let's just keep winning and keep playing well.